It was a day filled with joy, reflection and gratitude here in Kumbu. As hundreds of faithful gathered in the Kumbu Cathedral this Sunday the 8th of September 2024, birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to celebrate the 18th anniversary of the Episcopal ordination of Monsignor George Nkuo. Bishop George Nkuo, a dedicated servant of the church, was appointed the Bishop of Kumbu Diocese in 2006 by Pope Benedict XVI. Over the past 18 years, he has become a beloved spiritual leader, known for his humility, availability, and commitment to peace. Particularly in the midst of the ongoing challenges in Kumbu, that has remained the epicenter of the eight years running Anglophone crisis. From the Kumbu Cathedral, where his Christians made him tremendous gifts in the context of the Eucharistic celebration, the bishop proceeded to St. Augustine's College, Sakunso, where another great phase of the celebration took place. We call it the twin occasion because it is the inauguration of the new school year 2024-2025 and the celebration of the 18th Episcopal ordination of our bishop here present. My Lord, we have gathered here today as a community filled with gratitude and reverence for the unwavering support, leadership, guidance, and wisdom you have bestowed upon us over these 18 years. According to the bishop, his coming to SAC was a pilgrimage, given that his episcopal ordination took place here. Another opportunity to once again hear the resounding, deep and authoritative voice of Christian Cardinal Tumi, as on that east of September 2006, saying, George, do not be afraid to become a bishop. I decided to make a small pilgrimage this morning to Sac to remember what God did for me here on the grounds of St. Augustine's College 18 years ago. I think at that time none of you was born. None. None of you. I come here this morning to thank the Lord for all the blessings I have received in all these years. I come to ask God to bless all those who during these years touched my life and supported me in my Episcopal ministry here in the Diocese of Kumbo. If I look back, I can see how God has worked many wonderful things, I might even say many miracles through these years. It's been a wonderful opportunity to be here with the people of God and here I'm standing on the St. Augustine's College grounds where it happens. And during this year I know the Lord has accompanied me. Today is also the birth of the Virgin Mary. I know that Mary has accompanied me and many wonderful things have been done in this church, even especially during these very difficult times. I can only thank God for these blessings. So my Lord, you have a few years to retire. What are, how are your preparations towards your retirement? I leave that in the hands of God. <laughs> In Sac and Saw, it was equally an opportunity to have their opening of the school year mass, following a week's long retreat, and a golden opportunity to sing an anniversary song and cut an anniversary key for the bishop himself, the father of St. Augustine's College. Impressions of some stuff on the personality of Bishop uh, George Nkuo. I have realized the bishop is that he's always very, very happy. And the day I saw him sad, was the day they kidnapped students from St. Augustine College. We stayed here the whole night for two days. He was with us, with the, 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 the parents of those children. And uh, immediately as these children were brought back, his happiness came back. They have seen him as a man of the people. He does not dis uh, discriminate. He's friendly to all. I've seen him even with non-Catholics, with children, with adults, with everybody.
at your residence are still very fresh in our minds as our hearts were filled with joy celebrating with you despite the rain. And it is a great privilege to the city of God hosting the one this year. To begin, we appreciate your pastoral availability among us. <laughs> from the popular side to say thank you my lord for who you are to us for the father that you are and uh, we always celebrate you even when you are not aware just to me on a day like this to look, look back and I say thank you all for all that you do to make our church and our diocese grow every single one I don't want to make distinctions of class or, or category all all you have been exceedingly good and it takes a lot to be able to, to, to unite like this and, and to make our church and our diocese to grow and I want to thank you all for coming and for celebrating with me today. I know that, as I said already, that I, I, I'm not as saintly as some of you paint me. I know I'm not. So I you can push the opportunity. It's, sometimes I overdo it and you should also... Uh, <laughs> it's also important to apologize and to say I'm sorry for the time so sometimes I, I can come out it's a very tough, demanding, shouting bishop, but that's it. And I pray and I hope, sincerely hope that you know, so we'll continue to be be our church and everything go on you. I care and I love you and I'm very grateful for what you do. And I sincerely pray, especially, you know, this recent, this organization, beginning with the cathedral, St. Augustine's College, and then, of course, those who are living with me in the house, this is great, great appreciation. And it gives me a little bit more energy to round up my years with all that I can to give. That's very good. Thank you very much. And do not be afraid of the future. This is God's house. Do not be afraid. You are, when I, did you know that I was going to come to Congo? Did you know that I was going to So you don't know who will come. Yeah, the person will come. And I'm very confident the bishop you'll get tomorrow will be somebody who will do even far more. Yes, I'm very convinced about that. So there's no point to don't be afraid. You you will be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 